everybody has their ability to speak. You just got to learn it. So yeah. sometimes find it's like, voice. yeah, you got to find that voice. Sometimes that voice is body language. So mm-hmm. if you're dealing with a person and they t- they're talking to you, they're telling you everything you need to know. You're just not oh, visibly yeah. paying attention to it. Or yeah. someone is saying things to you, but you're not picking up on it. Sure. Uh, and then, like I said, there may be body language isn't like someone touches their ear. That may be their t- sign of uncomfortability. Like yeah. there's, there's things of that nature. So w- mm-hmm. that's what I learned from being around women is like women are very adept at mm-hmm. learning a situation and, and knowing where to get in and get out. Whereas guys is like, we walk in a situation, we think we tough, we can handle anything. Mm -hmm. So that prepared me to delegate conversations. So Mm -hmm. going back to from the whole position of it, the balance of it was, yeah, I took this position. And in the beginning, I was taking my licks at the end, by the end, by like, I would say going out of middle school, I was getting somewhere popular. So like I knew how to converse. But my at my graduation, I got the loudest applause. And that's because I knew everybody. So there we had two cafeterias. Like yeah. So by the end of it, starting he up, his friends make bully, himself friendly. Yeah, bullied in the beginning, and by the end of it, I knew. I knew everybody. I, I was on a soccer team. I was on a basketball team. I was on track. Yeah. My, I was supporting my boys on the football team. Nice. I would. I and I was a representative of everything, even in the worst ways. So like in, in, in uh, Ant's case, when he was saying like reputation, there was things I would stand up for. Sure. Um, may have been not been from a positive standpoint, but it was like, for instance, they tried to implement uh, uniforms uh, junior year. Yeah. And I was like, we're not doing that. So I, went, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I used no. to not wear this. Style your voice yeah. as a leader. Yeah. 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 So I used to come into school, same dress, the same way. And they were like, we're going to have to suspend you. You keep going up. So I went to the board meeting and I went to them and said, we're not, Ooh. we're not wearing that. So you, you can do that for the younger generation. I'm sure. not saying I could get what the uniforms are for. I get understanding, like no, sure. get rid of bullying and that aspect. Some people can't afford certain things. Sure. Got it. But for our, for us, we came in as juniors. I mean, as freshmen, sophomores going into senior year, you're not about to make us wear uniforms. Yeah. So they was like for your class. So we ended up for your class. We'll leave it alone. And then they followed uniforms the following year. Wow. Yeah, so it, it all has a reason. Yeah, it all no, that's reason. good. I, I, love, I love hearing your journey of, like you said, finding your voice. But, you know, it, it sounds like that, that awareness, right? So I, 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 we all out here in this, e, in this EI space, this emotional intelligence space, but it wasn't without the absence of, of adversity, right? So you guys have endured that bread of adversity. Um, and I, I, that's what I tell. I said, like, man, I've, I've raised up some kids, and that's probably been my wife and myself, our biggest crucible of growth and maturity. Mm-hmm. Um, but for, for you guys, like... You, you, you're both in this, like I said, this, 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 I mean, how can I bring a person along? So when you consider the emerging generation, as you just introduced, um, they, they kind of lack the callous, mm-hmm. right? You know, we talked about, I said, listen, they, they online, but they ain't outside, mm-hmm. right? Like it's, oh, yeah. these are some different realities. So when you start engaging, what are some of the key, key steps of engaging this young, this younger generation from a standpoint of actually getting their ear? Because, it's either they're dynamic. You find you find emerging young people are either just super dynamic, mm-hmm. or they're they're so fragile you can't. It's the appearance as if you can't say or do anything, mm-hmm. or they're completely unavailable. Yeah. How, as when you're navigating, connecting with 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 the, this younger generation, what's 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 necessary? Man, I think the first thing we got to understand is their why. Like okay. journeying with them, getting close to them to understand their why. You come to find out that kids is not quiet. Maybe something happened to them. When they was a little bit younger, to where they became voiceless. Uh, that's good. Right? Yep, maybe, yep. maybe um, I had this one kid in particular, um, amazing at public speaking, right? Yeah. And I had to get him to realize that public speaking isn't just when you're in front of a, a crowd. Public speaking is when you—he's an athlete. When they interview on you, that's public speaking. Public speaking. Like when you raise your hand in class to answer a question, that's public speaking. Even the nonverbals that he just was talking about. Public speaking, right? Yeah, so so you reframed it. There, there you go. I had to reframe it. And what you have to do uh, also is the same way that we observing them. Sure. They observing us. They know when you <laughs> walking in here. They know when you're not authentic. <laughs> like, yeah, you can't. You, yeah, that testimony you just told, you lying. Garbage. And then, and then look, now check this out. Even from the church space, like it's yeah, a lot yeah. of different, different spaces. It. A testimony is only as powerful as your wounds and your scars. Okay. And what I mean by that, if you going in here saying, hey, I used to do what you did, young brother. Yeah. Used to, used to, used to. It's like, hey, you just whispered in my ear and said the girl in the third pew is 
She, she like that. Yeah. No, this ain't used to. Yeah. You got open wounds that we need to discuss, and they trust you the moment that you start talking about your open wounds and also your scars. There's in truth, transparency, and transformation. That's DT3. Absolutely. That's how we roll. 